You're probably used to searching in Google, which has gotten better and better at understanding natural language. For example, you can search how to make sauerkraut or why is my cat afraid of a va vacuum, and you'll get some useful search results. The downside is that web search engines like Google don't index very much scholarly content. They index a lot of junk in with the useful stuff, and they're no good for in-depth searching. Say you're a scholar writing an article, or a journalist writing an investigative report. Then you'll need to know that you've found everything there is to find, and you don't want to have to deal with a lot of off-topic junk. In technical terms, what that means is that you want recall, getting all the information sources on your topic, and precision, getting only the information sources that are actually on your topic. So for academic research, even an ordinary writing assignment, you can use the web for certain things, but you have to use library search tools like article databases, the book catalog, and OneSearch. Not only do they have a much more powerful set of search features that allow for great precision and recall, but they also gather together high quality content that has gone through various quality control processes and are still the only place you can access most scholarly content. Admittedly, there's a learning curve to using the search features in library search tools, but the basics don't take long to learn, and once you do, you'll see that it's worth it. Why is searching these databases and other search tools so different from the natural way we ask questions? It's because these search tools can't understand human language. They can match strings of characters that you enter to strings of characters that they find in their contents. Sometimes they can guess a little, but that's really only reliable for simple misspellings and plurals and things like that. Because of the limitations of the search tools, what you have to do is tell it directly, this is the combination of words and phrases that I think will be in the articles I'm looking for. Doing that requires a few steps. Step one, you break your research topic down into separate concepts. For example, if you're researching the legal status of women in ancient Rome, your concepts are one, legal status, two, women, and three, ancient Rome. Step two, you brainstorm all the different ways you could say each of the concepts, in other words, the synonyms and related terms. For women, you might also have female. For legal status, you might also use law. And step three, you join all the keywords for the concepts using what are called Boolean operators. There are only six of these operators, but they can be combined in many different ways, which we'll discuss later.